Leave it to Game Mego to make a free to play Halloween event fucking pay to win. Like, bro, I'm frustrated as hell with this because the more I do this, the more I realize this is almost impossible to get everything from a fucking free to play event. If you were going to make the event pay to win, just make it pay to win in the beginning and not give free people an option. Not give people that don't spend money an option. Not give people that don't spend a ton of money in this game an option because this is ridiculous. Like, I critique games. I, I usually like to speak positively about games on this channel, but I'm going to critique the hell out of this because this is a stupid ass system. Let's go ahead and get started with the amount of tickets you need. But first, let's go ahead and go over the tickets that I've gotten so far. I've farmed this for, I want to say, at least two hours on stream. And I farmed an extra hour after that. I'm at 86 tickets. That's from me running through the maze a few times. That's from me stopping to farm pumpkins, farm gravestones a few times. I was trying to find out which one was easier, which one was better. Um, it turns out farming is better than running through the maze because the maze is just unpredictable. Whereas farming, you're kind of just stacking up items and then turning them into repeats. So farming is a whole lot better. The problem is farming the repeats, you only get one ticket per turn in of all these goddamn items. And the issue is that you need to do one, two, three, four, five quests to do one quest to get one ticket. That pouch gives you one ticket alone. Now, the main quest for the Halloween event, you need to get five, four items, right? You need to get the boot leather, the hat buckle, the jacket button, and the scarf scrap. To get those, you have to buy the permanent items in these four slots. For the first one, you need 300. It comes with the permanent um, outfit plus the item you need for the quest. Second one, you get the hat or the pumpkin head, and then you get the hat that you need for the, the hat buckle you need for the quest. The third one, you get the um, the pumpkin, which is a mount, I guess, um, and you get the boots, the, the boot leather that you need for the quest, and then the scarf itself, for whatever the hell reason, costs 900 tickets. This does not make sense. You get one ticket per turn in of the repeats. And it's not even to say that you get an even number of things because look at look at my storage, right? I mean, look at my, my inventory right now. This is my inventory. This is for me gathering, by the way. Like I said, for this is between me gathering and running the room, the things. I've gathered a ton of the tombstones, and this is the, like you see how unproportionate this is, right? I have five um five stacks of tombstones. But here's the other item you need for the tombstone, which is the bone powder. I have freaking, what, 10 stacks of the bone powder? Well, almost 10 whole stacks of the bone powder. These ghostly souls don't drop at all. Like, they drop, like, every once in a while. And you won't get that. It's, it's so freaking stupid. This is the dumbest event ever, bro. Like, the counts for this event are astronomically dumb. Along with the, the same thing for the, um, the pumpkin skin, the pumpkin leaf, and the pumpkin seed. Now, I do have a ton of pumpkin juice or pumpkin soda or whatever the hell it is that you call it. I made a bunch of those, and that's why I have a ton of um, those missing. And those, I believe, take um, the seed and the skin. So that's why I'm out of seeds and skins. But the leaf, the leaf is literally non-existent. And the leaf, you need to make the, um, the cake. And the cake, like you get one quest from the cake. And the cake is all, you have to go all the way over there to get the, quick, the quest for the cake. And then you can stand there and, you know, spam the um, reward claim button, but you have to stand there, get it from the NPC, and then spam the reward claim button on that side. That's fine. I'm not complaining about that. But the amount of numbers you need for these permanents are stupid. Whoever at Gaming who came up with these numbers needs to be fired. I'm sorry. I don't care. People have said that this has been this way for three years. If you guys haven't complained for three years, you're the problem. You guys should have formed a petition, like, signed a petition, picketed, protested the game, not spent any money for the month of Halloween or something. But y'all let this be the way this is, and this is dumb. Because 30, 30, 30, 90 makes sense. But 300, 300, 300, 900. That's 1,800 to complete one Halloween quest. If you are free to play, if you don't buy the stupid pumpkin pass, which is a, a battle pass that adds two or three more quests to this whole thing that apparently makes getting tickets a lot easier. If you don't buy that, you don't have a chance of doing this in a reasonable amount of time. A person said um, in the discord that in the previous year, she was able to get three things that she was stuck without not getting the scarf. So she could finally get the scarf this year. Bro, what? Do you understand how stupid that is? Like... I'm frustrated. Like, I'm actually frustrated that this is the way this is right now because it's 
it, this is dumb. And then let's not even talk about the other permanent outfits because there are more permanent outfits here. There are a bunch more permanent outfits here. Now, in total, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve permanent outfits. Each one of these needs 700 tickets, by the way. Every single one needs 700 tickets. So, the math is in my head. Um, I've already done the math together. But adding these together, that's 1,800 plus the, plus the 700 from each of these. It's 10,200 tickets. That's how much you need to get all the permanent outfits from this whole event. So, to get all three, all four of these... Well, all three of these plus the, the equipment so you can get the, the freaking permanent from the main quest, plus all the permanent outfits on here, you need 10,200 tickets. Why? Why is that acceptable? Like, you're going to be doing this more than you're actually playing the regular game. Outspark could never. And the thing is, when I say Outspark could never, I usually use it in a negative context against Outspark. But no, Outspark would never. Because the very first quest that we had for Halloween in 2007 was a Halloween quest that made us collect flames from killing monsters. And you needed 50 flames to collect a cake that you that you go trade into the NPC so you can get a pumpkin hat if you get five cakes. That was reasonable. This takes you completely outside the game. This takes you completely outside away from killing mobs, away from doing KQs, away from doing repeat quests, away from the general game, and away from PvP, away from everything else in the game to make you gather or run through a maze. Hundreds upon probably thousands of times to gather tickets to get permanent items that don't have stats. I don't care if they don't have stats really. I just want the permanent items, but these ticket numbers are astronomically stupid. I'm calling it what it is. I don't care what anybody else has to say. This is not up for debate. These numbers are stupid. Like I said, I don't usually talk ne negatively about games, but I will critique shit when it needs to be when it needs to be critiqued, uh, critiqued, critiqued, when it needs to be critiqued. These numbers are dumb. Like the the the, the regular numbers for like the seven day outfit don't even make sense. Why would you even spend that much for a seven day outfit when you barely get that? Like it's the dumbest setup ever. Whoever thought of this needs to be fired. I'm sorry. You need to be fired or you need to have your pay doctor. You need to be suspended. Something something needs to happen to you because your, your mind just wasn't right. Like, you're taking people outside of the actual game to make them play Farming Simulator. I might as well go play Palia. I might as well go play Palia. Like... At least then I'd be sticking to the actual point of the game. This game is not farming simulator. This na this game is not run through the maze simulator. Like, we're supposed to be able to go out and grind and stuff and still be able to come and do Halloween events. Not focus every single waking hour we have on the game on Halloween events. This is the dumbest thing. And then you can't even party up for extra drops without having the battle pass or the pumpkin pass. So if I say partied up with a bunch of a bunch of people that wanted to just share share their drops with me, you don't get extra drops from those people. You do not. This is the dumbest concept for a free to play event ever. You might as well made it paid to win. You might as well said people that don't spend money, you can't participate because this is what it is. You're locking people out of the game of free content for a Halloween event, bro. You might as well not put any of these other things in here. Like you're supposed to be able to collect this stuff. This is what games do. You're supposed to be able to collect this stuff in a reasonable amount of time. You're supposed to be able to have the ability to do this stuff in a reasonable amount of time. If I wanted to get one outfit on every different character, I should have been able to do that, but I can't do that. Because I got to spend freaking 300 hours in this place farming so I can get one outfit. Like, y'all, I don't think anybody understands why I'm angry. When it comes down to it, because like y'all gonna be like, oh no, it's just it's just how the game is. No, this is not how the game is. This how this wasn't how the game was. This is game Migos stupidity at work. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm done, guys. I'm done ranting. This this was just a straight rant video. I have nothing good to say about game Migo at this point. I'm sorry. I I'm done. I I'm just gonna keep playing the game. I'm gonna go do my repeats and level up. Hit 140, and I don't know what's gonna happen after that. I'm probably gonna. Just sit back and watch this game burn because that's if this is where it's going for Christmas, there's no point. 
and I love Christmas events. I love Christmas events. I love the stuff you get for Christmas events. But if this is the same shit that's going to happen for Christmas, there's no point in even doing Christmas events. Like, I'm not going to promote the fact that they're even doing Christmas. I'm just going to gloss over Christmas completely and keep grinding. Like, pfft, the fuck's the point of promoting their Halloween event if they're they're not going to make it cater towards players? And cater towards all players, not just people that are willing to pay $9.99 for a goddamn pass that's only going to work for this event. And it's only going to work for this event, too. Like, that is the stupidest thing. Yo, I swear, bro. Like, money grabs are one thing. But this is a whole nother level. You're already a pay-to-win game. And now you're throwing a battle pass that's only going to work for one event and only gives, what, two to three more quests. It works for one event, period. And it only gives two to three more quests. This is the biggest money grab I've ever seen in my life. Like... Mm, I'm frustrated. I am f actually frustrated. I shouldn't be this mad over some crap in a game, bro. I really shouldn't, but this is just unfairness at its peak. This is dumb. It, it's just dumb. That's the end of the video. Peace out, guys.